Welcome to another episode of Freeze Drying with me. I apples. Tonight I got a bunch from Azure. I got a 40 pound box and my goal this summer is anything I buy for preservation I want to have some split for fresh eating or for like up in the pantry and then some um, in long-term storage. So I just did a batch a couple days ago for fresh eating, a baby snack I can give the baby. And I'm sure most of you, if you preserve apples in the fall, you have one of these. It makes it super easy to just run through however many apples fit on your tray, but doing them and slicing them thin will make the freeze drying process a whole lot faster. And it's super, you know, it's a it's a nice size. So I'm gonna see if I actually did enough. This is my huge mixing bowl. I put some um, lemon juice and cold water in here and as I sliced, I put them in here. My kids, I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I put these in the oven. I dehydrate them just enough to be like crispy and my kids like them. Freeze my food as much as possible. My freezer is all already running, so I'm using that to freeze my food before I go and freeze dry my food. Um, I'll just probably put it in either before breakfast or after breakfast. They should be frozen because they are thinly sliced and I'll just start my freeze dryer tomorrow. And I also don't think I mentioned, I have set up on my machine that I do an extra dry time of two hours. Because I'm home 90% of the time, two hours is fine, I can check on it. But when you have extra dry time, it doesn't beep at you when your cycle is done, but when you glance at it, you'll know that it says extra dry time and it counts down that two hours. So I know I've seen a lot on the forums, if you, um, have a job outside the home or long hours, I would set that extra dry time as like 12 hours because if you're sleeping in the middle of the night, it's not beeping at you and waking you up at 3 a.m. It's happened. Um, at 3 a.m. to deal with it. So just put the extra dry time on before your cycle. You can set it up that way. I have it set for two hours, but come summer and but you know Saturday bike rides and stuff I might bump that up if I know that um, we're gonna be out of the house so I'm gonna get my trace I'll be right back So I love these, it separates the food and I can stack them nicer and take up less space in my stand up freezer. My top shelf is just designated for freeze drying trays. That's how I set it up. Um, I also don't have it jam packed because I do have deep freezers. So I'm gonna load up how many trays. I did measure out when I did my last batch. I believe it was nine pounds total. But the other thing, um, when I first learned to freeze dryer, when I first started, I was so worried about like nothing touching, but honestly, you don't really have to worry about that. I have a batch, I'll, I'll show you. So this is from the batch that I did just the other day, and I didn't use the lemon juice um, water. So the coloring is a little bit more brown than maybe this batch will be, but it comes out great. And sometimes they do stick together, but let's see how you get one. So this, this one stick together, stuck together, but it literally just snapped off. And if you're looking for presentation, that by all means, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, if I do load these trays overlapping, but I never go above the lip because that's what the manufacturer and stuff, and so it doesn't stick in my tray when it goes back into the freezer to freeze overnight. So I'm gonna load this up and see if I have enough apples. A fun little story. We first got this, of course, we were trying to figure out what all we could do in here and apples seemed to be a super easy one. So my husband got up early in the morning, went to the store and bought a whole um, variety of apples. So we had, I think he bought four different varieties and then the fifth tray was just a mixture of apples. 
and he had bought me big half gallon um, big half gallon jars and we froze <laughs> we freeze dried all the different apples and then us and all six of our kids taste tested all of them and ranked what our top apples were for freeze drying. Uh, we all ranked our top freeze dried apples. I believe it was Pink Lady, Granny Smith, Gala, and Fuji, which this is Fuji that I'm doing from Azure Standard. I, uh, but by far top rated was Granny Smith and then it was Fuji and the worst tasting one was Gala Apples. So that was our preference. We might be different, but I thought that was fun that we did it. Uh, we also tried to do some seasonings on some stuff. I sprinkled cinnamon on some apples, but that seasoning doesn't really, it just doesn't stay on. Um, you might get a little bit of flavor, but it really doesn't stick on. So I kind of skipped doing that. I tried to do that with some vegetables and stuff for my husband to snack on at work. And I did some different seasonings, but really the seasonings just kind of sink to the bottom of the container and he didn't really get a lot of flavor. So that was kind of unfortunate. But when you're eating real food, sometimes you don't need all that extra flavor. So this is what my tray looks like. Little overlapping, not too bad. Now I'm gonna keep going and we're gonna see if I need to do some more. I'm gonna go ahead and do up these last few apples, but I just want to show you how easy it is to freeze dry fruit in the freeze dryer. Like I said, pre-freeze your apples. Use the slicer to cut uniform thin slices, which will make freeze drying so much faster. Hope you have a great day whenever you're watching this, and I hope you stick around for more episodes on freeze drying. Have a great night.